Hi everyone, this is the question 7, which is the last question on the tutorial of uh, differentiation of trigonal function. First, I have a question A, which uh, fx equals to x over x plus tangent x. So we can see that for this function, it's in quotient form. I would like to use apply the quotient rule to differentiate this function. And uh, let the x become the u and the v become a x plus tangent x. After you uh, let the u become x and the u prime is equal to 1, differentiate, get 1. And the v equals to x plus tangent x. v prime equals to 1 plus secant square. And then we apply the um, quotient rule which is uh, v u prime minus u v prime over v square. Substitute the v as your x plus tangent x. Uh, multiply by u prime which is equals to 1 and uh, minus the u, u will be x multiplied by v prime which is a uh, 1 plus secant square x over v square which is uh, x plus tangent x square. Next, we will have to uh, simplify the numerator. We have uh, x plus tangent x minus x minus x secant square x over x plus tangent x square and we have a x minus x the first term and the third term cancel off each other we have a x tangent x minus x secant square x and a denominator just copy down all right then we move to the next question Question B, you have a sign x as a u and the square root of x as your v. And we're going to apply the quotient rule for this question. u equals to sign x, get your u prime. Differentiate sign x with respect to x, you get cos x. And uh, let your v equals to uh, square root of x, which is uh, x power of 1 over 2. v prime is a 1 over 2, x power of negative 1 over 2. And if you simplify, you will get this, 1 over 2 over square root of x. After that, you will apply the uh, quotient rule, which is uh, u, v u prime minus u v prime over v square. This is the formula. And uh, substitute the v, you get the square root of x. Multiply by u prime, which is your cos x. Minus sine x. Multiply by the v prime. 1 over 2 square root of x and divided by v square that will be a square root of x square you will get x and simplify it maybe you can equate denominator for this uh, upper part okay equating denominator you will have a 2 square root of x we try to make the two both terms having the denominator of a 2 square root of x and uh, meaning that the here we need to, the first term we need to multiply by uh, 2 square root of x over 2 square root of x. So that the denominator becomes 2 square root of x. And on top, you multiply by 2 square root of x, you get a 2x cos x. Because the square root of x multiplied by square root of x, you get x. Cos x, just copy down. And uh, minus sine x. All right. And this is over, this thing is over x. So as I said also many times, a over b divided by c is actually equals to a over b c, yeah? right? Then after that, you have your 2x cos x minus sine x divided by b multiplied by c, which is a 2x power of 3 over 2. Or you may write the x power of 3 over 2 in this form. Upper part, which is the numerator, cannot be simplified anymore. Just copy down. And the 2, uh, x power of 3 over 2 can be written as x square root of x power of 3. Alright, so for this uh, question C, again it's in quotient form. I'll let this uh, top function become the u and the lower function become the v. 
So your u will be equals to cos x minus sine x. Get your u prime. You have your differentiate uh, term by term. Differentiate cos, you get negative sine x. Differentiate sine, you get cos x. Alright, then uh, let your v equals to uh, cos x plus sine x. Then uh, v prime will be negative sine x plus cos x. Then I'm going to apply into the uh, apply the u u prime v v prime into the formula of the uh, quotient rule, which is uh, v u prime minus u v prime over v square. So substitute in your v, multiply by uh, v u prime. So I have my negative sine x minus cos x. And minus your u will be cos x minus sine x. And the v prime is your negative sine x plus cos x. And this whole thing divided by v square, which is your cos x plus sine x square. Numerator, very obviously, we need to simplify it. We can actually. Uh, Expand and see which term can be cancelled off. Cos multiplied by a negative sign, you get a negative uh, cos x sine x. And cos x multiplied by negative cos x, you get negative cos square x. And uh, negative sine square x. And uh, positive sine multiplied by negative cos, you get a negative sine x cos x. Alright, then you put a bracket to expand this. You get a negative cos x sine x. Cos x multiplied by cos x, you get a positive uh, cos square x. And a positive sine square x. Negative sine multiplied by cos, you get a negative sine x cos x. Okay. Then uh, the whole thing divided by v square, which is your cos x plus sine x square. Let's check which term can be cancelled off. Okay. Then uh, we uh, try to consider the sine over here. And uh, for these two terms, if I factor out the negative, I will got I will have a cos square plus sine square, which is equivalent to one. So, and uh, cos square plus sine square here also equals to 1. This is equals to 1. If you factor out a negative over here, for these two terms, you also will get 1. So let's see what happens if I factor out negative 1. Factor out negative 1, you will have a cos square plus sine square. Later on, I will convert this into 1 minus sine x cos x. And consider the sine over here. Negative multiplied by negative, you get positive cos x sine x. And here you have 1. Negative multiplied by positive 1, you get negative 1. Negative multiplied by negative, you get positive sine x cos x. And this whole thing divided by cos x plus sine x squared. We can see that this is equi equivalent to 1. And uh, this uh, negative 1 minus 1, you get a negative 2. You will have negative 2 because negative 1 minus 1, you get negative 2. And this uh, negative cos x sine x, negative sine x cos x is the same. So you get a negative 2 sine x cos x plus sine x cos x plus sine x cos x. Actually, this cancel off each other. These four terms, cancel off each other. So you, you only left a negative 2 on top and down here you still have your cos x plus sine x squared. Alright, that's it. So done our 7 question for the uh, tutorial on the differentiation of a trigger function. Next video, we'll proceed to the question which is a combination of uh, all the uh, function which is a function exponential uh, trigo function and logarithmic function. So uh, we are going to deal with the question uh, which is uh, uh, consists of uh, those uh, three 
three functions and we're going to find the first derivative for them. Alright, thank you for watching.